My name is Ruben Armagoncia Jr. and I will be reporting the pre-Gothenburg world up to the rise of digital age. The first one is the pre-Gothenburg world. Prior to the invention of the printing press, it was impossible to the people to distribute precise, predictable information to a large number of people. Although information could be captured through the labor-intensive and time-consuming process of hand-produced books, scrolls, or tablets, access to this information was limited especially to common people. The next one is the Gothenburg Revolution. The Gothenburg Revolution began with the introduction of printing, specifically the movable one. The introduction of the printing press was widely acknowledged to have had a revolutionary impact. It was credited with being the catalyst for the renaissance or the advancement of science and the creation of pressures that forced power to shift from monarchy and religious orders and into the hands of a much wider section of society. The printing press, invented by Johannes Gutenberg, who was born between 1394 and 1404, a German inventor, printer, and publisher, and the inventor of movable type printing press, had a huge impact on the world. His invention of movable type sparked the printing revolution. The printing press is a machine that enables the mass production of uniform printed materials, mainly text in the form of books, pamphlets, and newspapers. The printing press was invented in China and reinvented society there before being further developed in Europe by Johannes Gutenberg and his invention of the Gutenberg Press in the 15th century. The next one is the post-Gutenberg world. In this era, many praised the invention of the internet and the World Wide Web in the 1990s as bringing in a new democratic era marked by much greater access to information. This changed as a result of two events. First, the wide availability of broadband internet access made it possible to easily upload and download all types of media, including video, images, and audio, as well as text and transactions. Second, tools that made it simple for people to publish or spread information emerge. The first example was blogging, which was followed by social networking and distribution and sharing sites such as YouTube and other photo sharing sites. The digital age, also known as the information age, is defined as the period beginning in the 1970s with the introduction of the personal computer and continuing with successive technology that allows for the free and quick transfer of information. Computers, cell phones, computer printers, digital cameras, and other devices are now widely available for transferring information from one person to another, from here to distant places. In this era, also invented the computer by Charles Babbage, who was born on December 26, 1791. He is also known as the father of the computer, a mechanical engineer and mathematician. The first computer was called ENIAC, short for Electrical Numerical Integrator and Calculator. The internet is a global network of billions of computers and other electronic devices. With the internet, it's possible to access almost any information, communicate with anyone else in the world, and do much more. The World Wide Web, or simply the web, is a collection of various websites that can be accessed via the internet. A website is made up of text, images, and other resources that are all related. A website's objective can be almost anything. A news platform, an advertisement, an online library, a forum for photo sharing, or an educational site. These are the two examples of websites that is often visited by people around the globe. Facebook is an American company that provides online social networking services. Mark Zuckerberg founded Facebook in 2004. The subscription was limited to Harvard students but later expanded to include students from the Boston area, Ivy League colleges, and Stanford University, 
where people could communicate one another and meet online to share each other's thoughts, ideas, experiences, photos, and videos. Twitter is an online blogging service founded in March 2006 that allows users to send short messages to groups of people via computer or mobile phone. And that is the end of my reporting.